Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I might as well just ch change my channel name to Wattpad Updates featuring Amy because they're literally all that I talk about on my channel these days. But anyway, so the Wattpad news in today's episode, it pertains to the offline reading feature. So previously there used to be no limits when it came to reading stories offline. You could have as many books in your library that you wanted, or at least I don't believe there was a limit to how many books you could have in your library. And usually when you went offline, those books in your library carried over with you, I believe. That's how the feature worked. I don't know. But basically, long story short, you could read as many books offline that you wanted to. Fast forward to now, November 2019, um, unless you're a Wattpad premium user, you no longer have um, unlimited access to offline reading. Well, in a sense you do, I guess. Um, but now you're limited to, if you're not a premium user, now you're, you're limited to only two offline books at a time. So where you previously could read as many books as you wanted offline. Now, if you're not a premium user, you can only select two books to read offline at a time. And that is that those are interchangeable so when you're done reading one book then you can get back online and switch switch it out to another book but you can only read two books offline at a time if you're a premium user you can still read unlimited stories offline so you guys aren't affected um, now if you're not following the Wattpad news like I do um, if you're not following the Wattpad news and, and stuff like that in the uh, Wattpad community you should really consider joining over there and being a part of the community because the conversation on this particular topic is like 500 comments deep and unsurprisingly a lot of people are upset about this so which like I said is unsurprising because the um, offline feature was a very big deal to a lot of to the majority of the Wattpad fan base because like I said the majority of people on there can't afford premium um so by having that free feature the offline feature it was it was like it was a very big deal it it it's it helped wattpad stand out from a lot of the other quote-unquote reading apps that are out on the market and, and while the offline feature hasn't technically gone away it's just now been limited for the free users to two books offline but anyway, so I'm going to link to a post that was written by someone from Wattpad HQ, which basically explains why Wattpad is doing this and what it means for everyone else going forward. So I'm going to read a few statements, not the whole thing, because it's like several paragraphs long. Um, well, shit, you know, I might read the whole thing. We have time today. So, okay, let me go ahead and do that. We're just going to read the whole thing. Hi, everyone. I'm M product marketing manager at Wattpad here to give you a breakdown of what's happening with offline reading, a subject that has stirred a lot of conversation among Wattpadders around the world. Testing is an integral part of Wattpad product discovery and so over the last few weeks we were experimenting with a few versions of the library management experience, including offline reading, which explains why some of you saw a different offline limit than your friends. We needed to test your real behavior on our platform, meaning we couldn't spell out that this was a test without compromising the integrity of the experiment or creating a bias in the results. So we chose to stay mostly quiet and absorb the feedback. We're sorry if that gave off the wrong impression and made you feel ignored. In fact, we're very grateful you took multiple you took to multiple avenues to share your opinions. Between the data we captured through your behavior on the platform and your many theories, uh, we've learned a lot. And now that the experiment is over, we're in the clear to get on with a detailed explanation. What some of you might not know is that the library has had offline limits placed on it due to data storage and bandwidth reasons for a long time now, since 2014 or so. This is true for Android in particular, as having unlimited offline stories for everyone was not doing any favors by crashing apps. It wasn't great because people had different limits depending on their operating system and the feature itself 
wasn't refined in that it would auto download stories at random by prioritizing what you last read and throwing in a couple of guesses. Far from ideal. The new experience launches officially today for all users on iOS with a limit of two offline stories. The release on Android will follow in a few weeks time. It provides for an interface change to enable you to select which stories you want to save for offline reading, thus handling the control back to you in terms of the store, excuse me, in terms of the choice of stories you want to read offline, managing your device storage and internet consumption. This should also uh, re significantly reduce syncing, library syncing issues, crashes, and hopefully eliminate some bugs where stories were thought to be saved offline but didn't indicate that they're online. The new offline online icon on the interface makes sure you're always in the know about the state of a story. We also hope you will appreciate how quick and seamless it is to add and remove stories. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Paid stories don't count towards the limit and can always be read offline. Because we understand that you have chosen to support a particular writer, you should be able to access their work wherever you go. Premium subscribers are unaffected by the limit and can add unlimited stories to their offline list. Some of you have asked why device storage and data usage aren't considered a concern for premium subscribers. Great question. At a baseline level? All users can choose which stories to add and remove from their offline list for free and as many times as they want, which means all users have control over how they manage their device storage and data usage. Premium subscribers simply have additional flexibility in this regard. By way of not having, by way of not having a limit on the volume of stories in that list, it's important for us to keep creating additional value for our premium subscribers. And yes, unlimited offline reading is a great experience, is a great perk that will also attract some new readers to sign up and enjoy a supercharged Wattpad experience. But do we expect everyone to suddenly become a premium subscriber? No, which is why everyone gets to enjoy offline reading without having to pay for it and why we're also not concerned about syncing and glitches because 100% of our user base does not and will not and will never have premium. Lastly, it was amazing to see how much concern some of you who are actually unaffected by this change have shared over the blah blah blah, okay. And yeah, and then if you go see the first part of the page here, somebody quoted, um, what what she said about the uh, supercharged experience and they said Unlo unlimited offline reading used to be a perk that used to be free for all users was it not why does one now need to have a quote-unquote supercharged Wattpad experience to regain access to a feature everyone once had so I don't know how you guys feel about this but uh, yeah so unlimited offline reading is now only a thing for premium subscribers and if you're not a premium subscriber you can only have two books offline at a time so yeah let me know and a lot of people I've seen in the comments really a lot of the complaints have been well I guess you can call it complaints I'll say a lot of the feedback um, most comments that I've seen have been yeah, this sucks, but you guys could have at least made it to like five books offline. Two is kind of like, you know, what What am I going to do with that? So while some people absolutely hate this change and, you know, feel like unlimited offline should be, uh, unlimited offline reading should be something that everyone has, not just premium users. Some people understand it. Some people hate it. Some people are indifferent about it. <sighs> It's just, uh, as, as things change and, and as these apps evolve and grow, sometimes the changes are good and sometimes not so much. Uh, I don't know, to each their own. Um, let me, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below and if you want to join the others in voicing your response, you can, um, sign up on the Wattpad community and, and share your thoughts, I guess. And that's pretty much it for this video and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.